sisters, come on in for the movie tonight. Come on in, y'all. <coughs> Come on in, bring your Kool-Aid, your cocktail, your water. Bring your food and snacks that sit and chat with who? Me, this hood girl to the hood. Y'all, this is pre-Thanksgiving Wednesday. Hum day. I didn't know if I was going to do a video, and I didn't have one to post as well today because I did not load it. I forgot. Y'all, look here. Uh, production is beef sausage. Y'all see them? And the director is Spicy Noodles. Y'all already know I had to do it. Mm -hmm. Y'all, this is once again pre-Thanksgiving. This is scene one, take one. Let's roll the tape. Come on in, y'all. Bring your Kool-Aid, your cocktail, your water. Did I say that already? I did. Y'all, I've been busy almost all day. So without ado, we got the Spicy Noodles. We got... Some sausage, y'all, and I put a little barbecue sauce on it. So look at that, look at that. Take what you want, take what you want. Yeah, y'all want some noodles? You can't never have too many noodles. Here, here you go. Mm -hmm. Let's say prayers. Father God, thank you for this another day. Thank you for divine favor, mercy, and grace. Thank you for looking beyond our faults because we have so many. Have your way in this life and families, Lord, uh, for this Thanksgiving holiday. Have, have mercy. Let this food be nourishment to my beautiful and healthy body. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Those who are looking at me at this moment, Father God, I ask that your will be done in their life. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen and amen. Yeah, I'm going to be drinking, but I didn't want no drink with this. So, this is for you, my beautiful husters, uh, men and women in the same. This is a salute to have a great Thanksgiving day. I'm telling you, be safe, please. So, cheers, salute, salute. Let's sip, sip this good water. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, y'all, I got some <laughs> I got some different hair on. Yes, honey. Um, I'm going through some, you know, I told y'all that I'm, you know, um growing my sides and back. Uh so you know, when it's growing, it's nothing you can do with it at the moment. So I'm gonna be doing a whole lot of styles of some wigs. You know, I cause I have a whole big old thing full of wigs so yeah so without a do i'm ready for a drink though i ain't lying. i'm telling y'all what i did this morning y'all know on um monday i uh this is really hot y'all Ooh, that popped on me god dang it y'all see me jump um on monday i went ahead and did my cornbread because i like it to dry out just a little bit here you go Yum, yum, give me some. And so, uh, yeah, uh, so this morning I got up, you know, I was off today. And um, I got up and, you know, I do my, my spiritual thing, uh, y'all, that I, I do. Um, and then I said, okay, let's tackle this kitchen. So uh, I was chop, chop, chopping. I was boiling the gizzards for the uh, cornbread dressing. Chopping all the celery, bell pepper, onion, garlic. Yes, y'all. Uh, boiling potatoes for the potato salad. Yeah, so it season uh, the Cornish hens. And yeah, I'm thinking like, you know, we're not going to have a, a, a house full of people. But you can't go through a holiday without some kind of holiday food. But I think next time I'm going to order from Luby's. You know, that's easier. Maybe make my own dressing though, you know. Suck it up there. I'm talking like this far away from me. And so, um, <clears throat> damn, that's spicy. So, y'all, um, 
I didn't do my um, my green beans yet or the dirty rice because I like to make that on the same day. But everything had wasn't cooked today. It was just prepared. So it's going to be going in the oven in the morning. The Cornish hens and the cornbread stuffing is going to be in the oven in the morning. Uh, on Thanksgiving morning, that is. Yeah, so... I'll cook the, the uh, green beans and the dirty rice while they're in the oven. And then I'm going to be done. But y'all, I looked uh, at someone on YouTube that did their um, Cornish hands like a year ago. And so what they instruct instructions was uh, to get a bowl, uh, bowl of butter and mix it with thyme and basil. And then, of course, you know, I have to do my own seasonings and, you know, get it room temperature, you know, wash and dry your Cornish hands. And then, you know, uh, loosen that skin on the breast without, poke, you know, uh, tearing it up. So uh, I got the butter mixture and I put it all under there and, and then I rubbed it all over so it can be, you know, down in them legs and all over that breast. I did it for all of them. Then I basted it with some olive oil. And then I season it with, you know, the seasons that I use. So I'm going to uh, put them on a rack and bake them in the morning uncovered. So I'm excited about that. I used to cover them up, but I'm not going to do that. And then, um, yeah, I'm excited. My potato salad came out so good, y'all. Mm-hmm. Mm, so good. They good and spicy. I said, y'all, I'm going to give y'all my secret with the potato salad. I have a secret ingredient. That is not a secret anymore. I put maybe a fourth of a cup, yeah, of uh, Thousand Island. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, my spicy mustard. And I also use a sandwich uh, spread as well. Mm -hmm. It's so good. You know, your relish, your onion, your celery, your celery seed. Really good. Your eggs. It's, it's really good. I'm so ready to eat that from Cornish hands, y'all. Mm. Oh, my middle son called me this morning. Wait, before I tell y'all that story, what have y'all done today? Have y'all done the cakes, the pies, the chopping as well? Mm -hmm. Getting your bird ready for the oven in the morning, in the wee middle morning. Y'all remember, uh, and the. In the old school days, your mama, you, your mama or your grandmother actually used to get up at four o'clock in the morning to put that uh, bird in the oven. Mm-hmm. And you wake up and the house smells so freaking good. Mm-hmm. Don't y'all miss those days? Well, I was talking to somebody today, and uh, I kept hearing when we get back to normal. I don't even like to hear that, y'all. Normal is gone. This is time to adjust mm -hmm. to a new normal. We don't, I don't know what the new normal going to be, but it's going to be changed. That's for sure. Um, y'all, we just have to do what we do. You know, we still here. Mm-hmm. Change the game. Change the game. So anyway, y'all, my middle son, 30, he's 38. He run my phone this morning. Talking about mama. Is it a scam? Uh, I apply for, 
I applied for a credit card and they tell me if I send them $100 because my credit score is a lower than 600 that if I send them $100, they'll send me the money. I said, boy, it, boy, you it, don't be a fool. That is a scam. You don't pay money to get money. I told them, Google your stuff before. I said, I said, did you already give them your social security number where I did the uh, application online? Boy, before you ever do that, always do your homework. Call the BBB. Google it. Look at the reviews. Do your homework. So, I Googled it. I sent him some texts. Text messages. And then he called me and said, Mama, you was right. I called them. They said it is a scam. Well, boy, okay. Be careful. He's trying to uh, get a barber shop, y'all, and a coffee shop as well. I, I don't know which one he wants the most. The barber shop or... He, he don't cut hair. He just want to shop, you know, for business. And he wants a coffee shop as well. So I don't know which one he wants the most, though. But he really trying. Mm. Be careful. Because they out there. We, how many of us get them scam calls every single day? A um, uh, 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 text message. Mm. Oh, y'all need some beef sausage. Mm. There you go. Mm. Mm. That sweet baby Ray go with any doggone thing. That's so good. And I'm eating that. I, I think it's, I'm hard to chew because I got that skin. I, mean, I hate that skin. I'm just chewing. Mm, mm, yeah. I do not like that skin. But it got the barbecue sauce, y'all. Damn. Mm, I do not like that skin. Excuse me. And I think my teeth know it, you know? I think my teeth know it. Hmm. Skin of a potato and that sausage. Y'all, I'm so happy. It was something else I wanted to tell y'all. What was it? Oh, mother called me today now. She cook a lot of food, you know, being alone. Uh, she don't have no mate. So I posted my my pre-food. And so she called me and said, Juanita, why are you cooking all that food? And I say, well, you got the nerve enough to ask me that. Ask yourself why you over there cooking all that food. I said, now, uh, uh, how many uh, pecan pies did you make? <laughs> she said, I made 12 little ones and two big ones. Okay, one of them big ones coming on. Okay? And a couple of pieces of that potato pie. I don't want no cake. So you asking me, I ain't bake all that. I ain't do all that baking, y'all. I bought that box of... Uh, uh, cream cheese bites from Sam's. That's what I bought because it's three flavors. They're good too. I've been eating them already. <laughs> yeah. This is good. I'm enjoying it. I wanted it. Mm-hmm. Y'all want some more? You can have some. Here you go. Mm-hmm.
Y'all, I don't know why I'm craving for hot dogs. Let, oh, let me tell y'all this. We run out of time. I was sitting on this sofa, right, wondering. What am I going to eat? For dinner, right? Then I found a barbecue place that's not too far. And I'm thinking like... Maybe I can have a barbecue sandwich or something, you know, something with some chips. When I thought about it, I was like, all that money I done spent, all that food that's going to be cooking tomorrow. Girl, you better get in that freezer and take out some sausage and get in that pantry and get you some noodles out there. And then when I thought about the spicy noodles, I was like, oh, hell yeah. Good choice. Oh, that's spicy, spicy. So y'all, with all that um, hard work that a woman does, what men do it today, in that kitchen trying to get all that good food. Uh, I am really going to have a drink, at least one. I thought about a hookah as well. I'm thinking like, I, I just might do some blueberry hookah. I'll be recording that too if I do it. Because I wasn't ready for a cigar. I might do a cigar tomorrow on Thanksgiving. God say the same. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all, I got to do it. I cannot put that skin in my mouth. I'm sorry. I know I'm going to have this barbecue sauce all under my nails, but what is water for, right? And I have bought a different brand of sauces. And so this is not the typical, 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 the typical one I buy. It's okay. It's good, but it ain't the best. Because the ones, I buy, I like them to be on sale. They're expensive. And, uh, they haven't been on sale for a minute. They're not bad, especially with the barbecue sauce. Okay, y'all. Time is up. So, look here. I love y'all for always coming back. And uh, sticking and stand with your hood girl. Thank you, hoodsters. I'll do a video with the food sometime tomorrow. Not over mothers, though. I don't like her lighting. But look at y'all. Thank you. I love y'all. Y'all know that, right? Mm hmm. Time to say goodbye. So let's get your voices ready. Y'all know we got to sing ourselves out. <clears throat> it's time to say goodbye for now. We'll have another chance around on the other side. So whatever you do for the rest of this evening, do it good. Do it with purpose. Do it with genuine love. And do it safe so I can see you on tomorrow. I love you.